Shane, I can look past who Sierra's biological parents are and see her for who she is. Who's that? An innocent child who will hopefully be your sister. You're pretty cool, Dad. Oh, people don't hate me because Mitch Lawrence is my biological father, do they? No. Hey, are you ready to see Sierra? Yeah. Okay. So if I cheat on Clint, he gets to throw me out with nothing but the clothes on my back? Unless, of course, those clothes were purchased by Mr. Buchanan, in which case you don't get those either. <laughs> I must say, whoever drew up this agreement is good. It's ironclad. No loopholes. No exceptions. Good luck to you. Thanks for your help. Sure. I really like Clint. But are you willing to give him the chance to sleep with any other guy for the rest of your life? I told Jess that I wasn't interested. I mean, you know I always care for Jess, and I wanted to get better, but... It's all right. No, you don't have to explain. We're glad that you're being honest with our daughter, because things are complicated enough with her not remembering her daughter and even the man she fell in love with. Yeah, you know, I, I saw Brody at the hospital, oh, too. Oh, God, poor Brody. Yeah, he's not handling this well at all. I don't think any of us are. Seeing Jesse stuck in the past like this, it's very disconcerting. So are you going to get her to withdraw from school? I'm going to be honest with you, Christian. I'm not sure exactly how to handle this situation. Yeah, we're going to need help to figure this one out. We do have a lot in common. I know you don't remember me, but we're actually pretty friendly. We are? Yeah, I work at the PD with your boyfriend, Brody. Oh, he's not my boyfriend. Yes, he is. You just don't remember. I am so sorry about this picture frame. I'm so clumsy, but I think that this should cover it. I don't need your money. I can replace the frame. And the picture, too, if I have to. I have tons of pictures of Christian and me. Well, that means we have something else in common, too. So do I. <laughs> Listen, all I gotta tell you is, you got a lot of split ends, so you should come by the salon and I'll hook you up. No, 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 well, no, no. Maybe I you should get a manicure, you know, because we're giving a special today. You get the left hand done, you get the right hand uh, have Roxy, right. you come tearing in here talking about John and Marty are about to do something. What? What, Spending Roxy? more time. They're spending much more time together, so you shouldn't ingest any more time or energy with someone who's stuck on somebody else. Okay. You got a bizarre way of protecting me, but I... Aunt Maddie, this is for you. Oh, oh, this is so beautiful, sweetheart. Mmm, you know what I smell? I smell cookies in the kitchen. Who wants to go get some? I do. Okay, I'll be there in one second. You're really great with kids. Too bad you're not the one with the baby. Oh, honey, no, it's okay. You can say whatever you want to say about Stacy after what she did to Rex. I mean, how is he dealing with that? With what? Well, going from thinking that he was fathering a child with Stacy and then finding out he was actually the guy who stole his girlfriend? Oh, yeah, well, you know, better than I would. You know, Shane told me that Rex is over the hospital with Gigi while she's looking after the kid. Oh, really? Does that mean that Rex and Gigi are getting back together? They're getting a little closer. You know, a baby has a way of bonding people. Well, I'm the last person on the planet that should be handing out advice on kids. But it seems to me you're not exactly sure what you want. Uh, Marty Saybrook. Oh, oh, Marty, hi. It's uh, Vicki Banks. I I'm sorry. I'm afraid we need your help. Um, sure. You hold on. I'll be, I'll be right there. You know, part of me thinks I should step up to the plate and take responsibility for this life. I'm Just sorry, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but I've got to go. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. I'm just, um, Vicky, Vicky needs to talk to me. Okay. Look what we were talking about before. Can we? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time with this. No. Listen, Fish, I think it's... I think it's natural to have doubts when you're thinking about raising a family. You know, my brother Mike, when he first became a father, when, when Tommy came into his life, he told me he was completely unprepared. But then, somewhere in there, 
he ended up realizing he had what it took to be a really good dad. So, so you think it'll just come to me? Well, you know if that's inside you, Fish. You're the only one that can even know if this is what you really want. And I think when you can answer those questions for yourself, you'll know what to do. Was I that small? Almost, but Sierra was premature. Yeah, I know. What's with the doll? Oh, um, the doll is Aunt Stacy's. Was Aunt Stacy's. Miss Mariska? Yes. Can you come with me, please? Dr. Ganjami would like to speak with you. Oh, uh, all right. Um, go with Mom, Dad. I'm okay here. You are, huh? Okay, well, stay put, and we'll be back soon. Sure.